Yeah, Archie McPherson. Sandwich between European matches and a dispute about whether this game ought to be postponed or not. This crowd are hoping to be regaled by a match that shows that the Premier League is not simply a mere sideshow to European involvement. No Michael Moles or Claudia Reyna or Barry Ferguson in the Rangers lineup. The first two rested, the other suspended. Billy Dodd starts and two guys fills the other vacancy. And tried once again after being in and out of the Rangers side like a trialist is Fernando Rickson, who Dutch colleagues on Tuesday predicted to me will still make the grade after a shaky start. Hearts, after a very solid performance in Stuttgart, are obviously concerned about their rest period. So Darren Jackson, after the manager admitted he put in a very hard shift in Germany, is placed on the bench. And back from the start, Gary McSwigan, top scorer at Tandcastle, and who can also claim to have scored a superb Champions League goal for the team he's playing against today. And the referee today, Hugh Dallas. Encouraged by the fact that Rangers have conceded a goal in every Premier League game they've played in so far, despite that excellent performance in Europe, it's consistency in the championship that anybody has to achieve, and that's certainly beyond Rangers at the moment. And I suppose they'll be trying to prove that this game or that last game on Tuesday means uh, a significant turning of the corner for them. They're certainly going after their 50th competitive win against uh, Hearts. In the Premier Division, no free kick there as Billy Dodds picks that up. Pitch in absolutely immaculate condition again. That Broncos. And he fought very well for that. Picked up by Colin Cameron. Cameron also. Well, I suppose the central defence for Rangers still remains a, a question mark in some people's minds. Well, picked up well by Johnson, he kept his eye on the ball now, Ronald De Boer, here's Billy Dodds there, nice neat little turn, and it's just it, no, pass, for a moment it looked as if it was inside the post, and all emanating from this one here, and Billy Dodds again snatched at it, Still in there now, Dodge, neat little turn by Dodge, and out comes the former Rangers player, Anton Yemi. Good, sharp, incisive play at the moment by Rangers. They're all moving, all tramping, very mobile. And that little turn by Dodge, superb, but just placing the ball too far ahead. It's Wigan. Now Wanjo. Good one on the left, is it overstruck? It is not, and that's a very good header indeed by McSweek, and great run forward, Naismith and Hart, best move of the match so far with uh, about 12 minutes gone, and that should have been angled a little bit more, I think McSweek realises that. Arthur Newman. Back to two guy. Johnson. Swinging the ball from one side to the other. Rangers. There's Ricks. And that's a good ball. Just pass. Superb move there by Van Dronkers and Rickson on the right hand side. And you know, I think Billy Dodds ought to put that one away. There's De Boer, good play by Presley, and he wants to come forward in the counter-attack. Here's Wanjo. Neat play by Wanjo. Amoruso, great play by Wanjo. Can he put it away? Good save by Klaus. That's a, a great effort by Wanjo. And 
I suspect, you know, if you run straight at the, the range of central defenders, they can be vulnerable. And he almost proved it conclusively there. Here's two guys. Given away, and Van Bronca snatched at it. I think he was rather surprised he had the break of the ball come to him like that, but it was all off the outside of the foot as you could see it curving away there. I've seen much of the ball in the last 20 minutes or so. Trying to get back, get some opening in midfield. All a little bit obvious by Rangers at the moment. In for Dodge, back for Newman, and offside, shot there by Johnson, but uh, as it came back to the Dodge, he was clearly offside. There he is, putting it away. Pedestrian. De Boer. Johnson. To Dodds. Direct in the final ball's got to be a good one. No, and there was George Albert, no less, going up in the air. Well, he did get into the box, not noted as a champion of aerial football. He's in there, ready to go. De Boer. Oh, Johnson, that's a decent ball. Can he put it away now? Excellent ball there by De Boer. I think he delayed too long and suddenly found himself squeezed in just a little bit. The angle becoming more and more difficult the further he went. Superb pass by that man there, Ronald DeBoer. Well there. And a yellow card for Newman. Matthew Dallas uh, broaching no argument in the player. Johnson wasn't far away. Better move there by Rangers. I'll bet gets a little bit of freedom this time. Newman. Billy Dodd. days today. Broncos neatly down. Dodds. Albert. The Broncos gets a free kick out of that. He'll leave that to Albert. A little bit too far out, I would think, for the uh, the big German to make a direct strike. Leaving it to Van Bronckers, does Amoruso and Contamont both go into the box. There's Contamont, brilliantly saved by Nieve. Tremendous effort by the Dutchman, almost opening his account for the club, and that's a great save. As the halftime whistle goes, and I think appropriately, it's ended on a header and a save. The three clubs.
clear-cut chances have fallen in the air. First of all, Gary McSwegan earlier on in the game when he really should have put that away. Then there was Billy Dodds after that brilliant move on the right-hand side. The ball just glancing away. Wanjo, of course, came in with an effort near the near post. It was very tight for him. And then at the end, Conterman bringing out that superb save by Niemi. In this intriguing game, no scoring. And bring them back, back, back. <laughs> As we start this half, I think it's worth noting that uh, as we were doing a half-time summary, Rickson and Simpson were booked by the referee after he had uh, blown that uh, final whistle. And also, perhaps not surprisingly, given the kind of form he was in, George Albert is off and Neil McCann is on from the start of this half. There's the ball made for Newman again, superb play by Quanterman. Coming in at the back, then it's excellently taken by Gary Naismith. He was under pressure, wasn't quite aware of what might be happening at the back, and he did exactly the right thing, playing here for safety. Superb play by uh, Quantumman all the same. He simply passes the ball very well. And it goes, and Quantumman can't get to it. Well, it was very low eventually. This is much more effective into that danger zone there. And a real tangle of bodies before it was pushed away. Well, Hart's doing nothing at the moment except give Rangers the ball back. Now McCann. Good tackling though. And they can't get it forward enough. There's a run by Newman. Presley getting across. Billy Dodds. Newman getting it to that left foot of his. Easy one for Niemi, though. Far too near the goalkeeper. And he's had a good game. Building on that excellent save just before the halftime whistle. Good guy. 